of thanksgiving prepareth a way that I may show him my salvation. Papa Yagaba. Open your mouth and start giving thanks. We start making a way for God to show us his salvation. Open your mouth and start giving thanks. Leko Shekete. Zika Bragodo Shetala. We give thanks to the holy name of Jesus. We give thanks to the holy one of Israel. We give thanks to the one who also is and is to come. We give thanks to the one who is eternal, everlasting, glory. Glorious Father, we give thanks to him. We thank God for January. We thank God for February. We thank God for March. We thank God for April. We thank God for June. We thank God for May. We thank God for July. We can thank God for August. We thank God for September. We thank God for October. We thank God for all November. And we thank God now for that we all. We've stepped in December and still your voice is loud and clear that fire we shall finish He's here. Oh, Oh, 
Somebody say we will not be ashamed and we will agree with him that we will not be put to shame. One of the things I am learning to appreciate yes sir she, she said something as she completed in that statement in Swahili she said yes I desired I was asking God if that would not be interpreted, what will we, what, how can we understand? Let's give Jesus a hand in Jesus' name. One of the things I would love us to appreciate is the spontaneity of God. Spontaneity of God. One of the things that God has bet me in a game is God has bet me in a game that when I'm expecting him to come in this way, he comes in this way. When I'm expecting him to move in this way, he moves in another dimension. So, one of the things, believers, brethren, sisters, I want us to appreciate the spontaneity of God in our lives. If God blessed you this year in a certain way, if you're believing God to move you to another level, don't expect him to come in the same way that he came. Because at times he might come wrapped up in a way that you didn't like and you miss out on him. So I want us to learn to appreciate the spontaneity of God in our lives in Jesus' name. For example, let me give an example. Last the, the, the Sunday that I was to speak in the second service, I didn't have a sermon completely. And I came to the service, but I had written a whole book there to come and preach. But then when I sat down there, I still felt that the Holy Ghost wants to speak something else apart from this. Then when I stayed there, that is when he spoke. Then 
when Bishop told me that I would be speaking in this service, I gathered my mind because the first thing, the service is talking about, the theme of the service is thanksgiving. So I had already prepared someone, something else completely, a new, another dimension. Now I asked myself, now how shall I twist? I said, now I sat down there and I told God, now God, what do I speak to the people? And then uh, the Holy Ghost told me there, a word came to me that do as the occasion serve thee. So you do as per the occasion. So now I had to wait again for him to speak what I shall come to speak. And then when I was waiting there asking myself how shall the word come waiting for him to uh, maybe uh, speak the word the way he spoke on Sunday to me so that I start writing I heard a voice tell me start writing about the topic of the day the moment I started scribbling ah now I am learning to appreciate the spontaneity of God in the name of Jesus hallelujah if God came in this door this time round, come through this door he might come through the roof he come through the wind he might come whichever means in Jesus name hallelujah let me go to the sermon because uh, we've been preached to a whole year so this is just a, a moment of appreciating God and saying thank you now first of all turn to your neighbor tell your neighbor neighbor thank you so much for being here today ah uh, come on tell your neighbor neighbor thank you for coming today now I want to give you an assignment first of all I want you to give you just 30 seconds uh, turn to your neighbor ask your neighbor I want you to give me five things this year the Lord has done to you each to tell each other five things that the Lord has done to you five things tell the person five things that the Lord has done to me five things that the Lord has done to you tell the person five things tell them five things that the Lord has done to you in the name of Jesus five things that the Lord has done to you five things five things that you are grateful to God <laughs> glory to God Tell, tell them, tell them, tell them five things. Ah, Vitutano. What we waited for has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. You want to lift your voice and say, What we waited for has come to pass see what the Lord has done have you received a testimony yeah, have you received a testimony wonderful that is what God is doing and even in this service today raise your faith because thanksgiving the Lord will move kwanza hapa ndiyo anamuviki zaidi ya wakati hata tunafanya mambo ingine because we are preparing a way for him now, I'll start this way. Uh, Bishop knows that story. Uh, a certain man from uh, Maasai land was privileged. Alikuwa privileged uh, kupewa lift na mtu. So, akapewa lift kwa gari uh, kutoka. Nafikiri ilikuwa mali arid sana na ilikuwa safari ndefu sana. So, akambeba, ule mtu alimpatia lift, akambeba, akampeleka uh, maybe I think in, it is in a town. Uh, kutoka mali alimtoa mustudi. Kilewa zile terrains za uko. Wakati tunangia kuangalia mashamba. Masai wa wanatuomba lift. Mara ingine na wale wenye mashamba. Wanatuomba lift. So tunawapatia lift. So wacha tuchukua uyo mtu alikuwa kemadhi. Alipo wabeba kutoka uh, semu zile za kuna itagwa tinga. Uh, alipo wabeba wawili. So... <laughs> wakafika kitengela wakamwambia tumefika so walipomwambia tumefika walipokuwa wakishuka wakabang mlango ai kemadhi akauliza eh bwana kwa nini mmefunga mlango na nguvu hivyo wakamwambia kwa nini ni ndege
waliposhuka kwa gari walimuuliza kama hii unatubeba naye ni ndege so kemadi akuwa na option akasema ni sawa tu akapiga gari moto akaelekea many a times that the lord does things to us and instead of us looking at the simple picture that the lord has carried us from we look at what the lord would have done instead of what he has done at that particular time we tend to forget where he has carried us from how he has a hard grace on us even we didn't deserve with our masai shuka with our nakedness he gave us a lift but then tulipofika tulibang mlango na wakati Mungu ametuuliza namna gani kwani kunaenda aje tukamwambia Mungu Mungu hapana hiyo si ndege sisi tulikuwa tunataka kubebwa na ndege thanksgiving is worship thanksgiving is worship Number two, gratitude is the affection we give to God. Gratitude is the affection we give to God in response to the gifts he has given unto us. Gratitude is the affection we give to God in response to the gifts he has given to us. It is our heart's response to what God has done to us. It is our heart's response to what God has done to us. Are you with me? Okay, let me go back a bit. Gratitude is the affection we give to God in response. It is the affection we give to God in response to the gifts he has given unto us. Are you with me up to there? Wonderful. Now, thanksgiving it is it is our heart's response. It is our heart's response to what God has done for us. The way we respond to God after he has done something to us is thanksgiving. And then thanksgiving is what this is what empowers worship. If you feel you're dry or for example the service is dry or for example something is not right or something is like you're feeling a dark cloud over you just open your mouth and start giving thanks and see what will happen Thanksgiving is not theory it is practical It is not theory it is practical so you give thanks Father I thank you everybody say Father we thank you So there's no there's nothing like theory theory is here Now There's a story that is told in the book of uh, Esther chapter 3 Esther chapter 3 uh, and verse 7 to 11 All of us know the story of Esther but it's good we note and read together but let me read in the 12th year of the king Xerxes in the first month the month of Nisan they cast the poor that is the lot in the presence of Haman to select a day and month and the lot fell on the 12th month the month of Adar verse 8 then Haman said to king Xerxes there is a certain people dispersed and scattered among the peoples in all the provinces of your kingdom whose customs are different from those of all the other people and who do not obey the king's laws it is not in the king's best interest to tolerate them verse 9 if it pleases the king let a decree be issued to destroy them and i will put 10000 talents of silver into the royal treasury for the men who carry out this business verse 10 so the king took his signet ring from his finger and gave it to haman son of hamedatha the agagite the enemy of the jews verse 11 keep the money 
the king said to Haman, and do with the people as you please. So this, is, this was a time of turmoil. It was a time of pain. It was a time of challenge for these people, the Jews. And this man, Haman, had plotted to annihilate them. He had plotted to kill all of them. So, and the plan seemed to almost succeed. Because, why it not that these people engaged the heavens? That plan could have been successful. Kama si vile waliingia, wakam ongelesha mungu, huo mpango unge go through. Na kila kitu tunajua vile kulienda na wakapanga na wakafanya kila kitu and the way they plotted and it was almost to be done. But then we see in chapter 9 verse 1, Esther. On the 13th day of the 12th month, the month of Adar, the edict commanded by the king was to be carried out. So those are almost succeeding of killing the Jews. The plans were almost there to succeed. But before we see there was something that was happening behind the scenes. These guys engaged in prayer and fasting. They sought the Lord. They sought the grace of God. They sought the mercy of God. And now we are in chapter 9 verse 1. On the 13th day of the 12th month, the month of Adar, the edict commanded by the king was to be carried out. On this day, the enemies of Jews had hoped to overpower them. But now the tables were turned. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is somebody here whom the Lord has turned the tables around? Do we have somebody here whom the Lord has turned the tables around? Do we have people here whom the Lord has fought for and you can outrightly just lift one finger and say, I can only point up because it is the hand of the Lord. So the Bible says, but now the tables were turned and the Jews got the upper hand over those who hated them. Praise the Lord. So the Lord came in. Though uh, uh, theologians and um, learned friends, they say Esther, and it is true, it's the only book that does not mention God. But the footprints of God are louder than the word itself. Yani, footprints ni nini? Nyayo. Nyayo. Nyayo za mungu katika icho kitabu ni so loud to a point that you can see God all over. So, the Jews got an upper hand over those who hated them because they prayed and sought the Lord. Now, in response, because God has given them the victory and God has helped them, what did they do? What did the Jews do? Let's go to Esther chapter 9 verse 20 to 23. Esther chapter 9 and 3. Kai recorded these events and he sent letters to all the Jews throughout the provinces of King Sassis near and far to have them celebrate annually the 14th and 15th days of the month of Ada as the time when the Jews got relief from their enemy and as the month when their sorrow was turned into joy and their mourning into, uh, mourning into a day of celebration he wrote them to observe the days as days of feasting and joy and giving presents of food to one another and gifts to the so when God gave victory to these people they agreed for us not to forget that there was a time the Jews were to be finished from the face of the earth we will we will set pace and this Today, and these two days we will put us away to remember there will be a remembrance for us so brethren this for example like today is a day is a very special day for because it is a day to remember praise the lord hallelujah it is a day for us to remember it is a day for us to remember because we are remembering how the Lord has carried us how he's been gracious to us how 
he has carried us through thick and thin. And then this month, they associated it with what happened. They called it, let's go to Esther chapter 9 verse 26. Therefore, these days were called Purim. From the word Pur. Because of everything written in this letter and because of what they have seen and what had happened to them. So, they called this the month, uh, they called these days Purim. From the word Pur because on that particular day, a lot was cast. That lot was called poor. Are we together? Iyo in lot ni nini ni ni kura asanti. Iyo kura ilipigwa ilikuwa inaitwa poor. Sasa wakasema ili tusiwai sahau. Iyo siku mbili tutaziita purim from the word poor. Ili tukumbuke vile ambavyo Mungu ametufanyia. So, wakaweka wakaita purim ili wasiweze ku, wasiweze kusahau. So, how watu walifanya nini? Number one, waliweka siku mbili, festival of celebrating God's deliverance. They set it specifically to celebrate God's deliverance over their lives. Hallelujah. Are we together? So, they could highlight he kitu Mungu alituokoa na alitukomboa waka highlight na tume block hizi siku mbili specifically ile kitu tutafanya kwa hizo siku ni ku celebrate deliverance ya Mungu katika maisha yetu I want to challenge you friends today is a day of joy it is not a day to be a have a sad face na umeinamishwa katika jina la Yesu It's a good day because we are celebrating what the Lord has done in our lives in Jesus name Number two, it had a name that agrees with what transpired as a reminder for them. So they said the word Purim so that now it will remind them. Mtu akisikia Pur anakumbuka ah kama sio Mungu alitukomboa hata tungewahi kuwa tuna exist. So walikuwa very specific in their thanksgiving, in their celebration. So we want to today as we will be coming before the Lord with thanksgiving. We want to be specific. We want to remind God what he has done. If <laughs> let me not go there. I had some time back uh, let, let me ask a very simple question. I had some time back. Oxygen power is how much? Uh, Madam Nas power 150 eh? $150. How much? $150,000. $150 shillings. $150 shillings. Power. Aya. $150 times 24. Times 30. Times 12. Times the number of years you've stayed. Do the math. Simple to. Kitu raisi kama iyo. Ambaya tunaona ni... To know any kitu ni same at 150 times 24 hours times 30 times 12 times the number of years you've lived. See how much you would have paid. So these people looked back and saw God's deliverance over their lives is not something to joke around with. Because mtu alikuwa mepanga kuangamiza. Number two, to me honor, ni kwamba waliweka jina ambayo itakubaliana na ile kitu ambayo Mungu aliwasaidiana kutokana naye. Number three, it was a time of feasting and joy. Kwa hivyo, wakati tunatoa shukurani kama siku ya leo, ni siku ya furaha. Tafadhali, ujue ni siku ya furaha leo. Bwana asifiwe. Kuna ile wimbo wa bed tulikuwa tunaimba unasema Leo ni siku njema Nimemuona Bwana Leo ni siku njema Nimemuona Bwana So it 
there was a time of feasting and joy from their sorrow that was turned into joy and their mourning was turned into celebration and victory I remember there was a day I was believing God for this job Shainas alikuwa jaenda shule alikuwa jarudi hiyo tamu so ninakumbuka tulikuwa mimi na Shainas tulikuwa mimi na Shainas sijui ulikuwa wapi sijui ulikuwa wapi ah ulikuwa umeenda biashara ya kuuza mbao so mimi na Shainas tulikuwa hapo so mimi nilikuwa na believe Mungu ya kwamba hiyo biashara i go through so nilikuwa naingia bedroom kwa sababu ni kitu ilikuwa inaniwasha naingia bedroom na natembea kidogo sana kasho katala hiyo biashara Mungu nimeifunga hakuna mtu mwingine ataichukua hakuna mtu mwingine ataenda alafu ninamaliza maombi ninatoka nikifika table room nakumbuka kuna kitu bado sijaombea sijaombea huyo mtu ambaye anapeana asini short change narudi tena bedroom Mungu ninaomba huyo mtu ambaye anafaa kupeana hiyo kitu asini short change ninatoka nikifika tena pale nje nakumbuka sijaombea bank account narudi tena Mungu ninaomba hata complications zisi kuje kwa bank account desperation desperation now wakati nilikuwa naomba hivyo ninaomba hivyo at some point nikatoka nikaenda hapo nje nilikuwa nimeka van nje nikashika van nje hivi nikasema Mungu baba ninaomba yani ilikuwa that, that that desperate because nilikuwa nataka hiyo kazi then nikiwa hapo hivi eh, that guy akani text akaniambia eh, now Hi, what did you say about that, that thing? Nikamwambia, "Oh, hata oh, nikakuwa sasa kutoka hapo niko hapa kwa hapa." Nikamwambia, ni, ni, "Mimi nilikubali vile tulikubaliana. Hakuna kitu nimekataa. We've agreed." Then immediately, akaniambia, "I am sending you the money right now." Ah, 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 ah. When he told me that he's sending me the money right now, nilitoka hapo nikaenda nikakuja eh, bishop unajua ule mkoba wangu ile bag yangu hiyo bag hiyo bag imebarikiwa sana hiyo <laughs> bag imebarikiwa sana nikakimbia mara moja nikabeba pesa na bag ili kwanza kwa sababu shaina zaliniona unajua tunataka watoto waone waone testimonies so nikaenda nikakuja na hizo pesa zote nikiwa nimebeba kwa bag nikakuja nikazimwaga Uh, uh, nilizimwaga bedroom si mezani ili, ili mtu asikuje mezani sasa akuje ulize kunaenda aje hapa so nikazimwaga kwa bed hivi sasa nikarudi nikaenda nikaita Shaina nikamwambia Shaina zikuje i want you to show what god does when we pray so nikamwambia angalia hii Shaina za karuka ruka karuka ruka kaniambia dad you know nilikuwa na dream wakati kabla nimalize shule nilikuwa na dream ukiwa na pesa mingi nikamwambia ile dream uliona sasa ndio hii Nikachukua ka video, nikachukua ka video hivi. Sasa nikasema the next person ambaye nitaonyesha matendo ya Mungu ni nani? Ah Facebook hapana Bishop, nilijua KRA watanitafuta. <laughs> so I sent Nancy the video. Kaniambia surely because we've been praying and asking God for that. Surely God is faithful and the business went through. When I remember the point of desperation I was when I was praying for that business I can only tell the Lord it is the hand of God that carried me through in Jesus name Hallelujah I can only say it is the hand of God business people who are here I want to assure you God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can think or imagine in Jesus name And the last one the bible says that those people uh, and the, uh, he wrote them to observe the days as days of feasting and joy and giving presents of food to one another and gifts to the poor when we are in the, such a moment of thanksgiving we ought not to forget to give presents to people in jesus name uh, so mimi ninakaribisha v8 mpya kama 
e, umeongeleshwa V8 ninakaribisha ninakaribisha hata ndege jet ninakaribisha helicopter nina watu wako na helicopter kwa barabara wanatembea nazo kwani hiyo that, that is no longer news now in Kenya people having helicopters and jets that's no longer news hata niliona mtu ame amebid anasema anataka kununua ndege you know it's no longer news so it was a time to give presents of food if you know somebody here who does not who is struggling with food and you're here and you have plenty please enda umpatie unga tatu ama unga mbili ama unga moja na umbariki katika jina la Yesu haleluya it was also a time to give gifts to those who are disadvantaged the poor kachukua wanachukua vitu waka, wanapeana kwa maskini kwa sababu wanataka hiyo kitu ikumbukwe Bwana asifiwe sana. Haleluya. So today as we give our offerings of thanksgiving and gifts of thanksgiving, let's also remember those that are disadvantaged, those that are challenged. If you have food in the house, go and bless them in Jesus name. It is a time to remember where the Lord has carried us from in Jesus name. Haleluya. 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 Now The reason as to why America is blessed I read in 16 I think 72 they began something about giving of thanks recently in the, in the month of in the month of November they had a time a whole month season of thanksgiving kushukuru tu musicians would produce songs of thanksgiving and they would post in their walls all over both secular and believers all over the whole country it was about thanksgiving can we change our culture and our culture becomes a culture of a people who is grat- grateful in Jesus name hallelujah hallelujah so when you see a tortoise on the wall someone must have placed it there When you see a country is blessed it is because there are things they've agreed that they will do and those things have transformed them over time. And last I will leave you with this quote. I'll give you two quotes. Number one, The first quote is appreciation can change a day. Appreciation can change a day. appreciation can change a day and then <laughs> this this other one simply says if you're really thankful if you're really thankful what do you do if you're really thankful what do you do then it answers you share If you really thankful you share. I want to take this moment to thank you bishop this year you've been a blessing to us and as a family and we are grateful. May God bless you and increase you together with your family. We've been praying for you guys all all the whole year. We've been praying for you and we believe God has blessed you and in abundance. May God bless you. Thank you Pastor Rose. You've been a great blessing to me and your family and I am really grateful to all of you. Uh, as a family thank you nancy salute sa- salute salute they say in i think uh, in french salute so i'm really grateful salute you for the great work you've done in the family and in the children and making always sure that i am ready anytime i'm called upon for the ministry and all members of the church not forgetting my good friend here whom we've served this year and it's been a great blessing when i miss him in the service i feel my heart is at the lowest is a great blessing and i pray that god will bless you together with your family and your children and any other one person that i have not mentioned but you've been an impact in our lives this year we bless god for all of you in jesus name thank you for the encouragement thank you for being there when we speak to you you receive the word of god is such a great blessing to have you in the house let's give jesus a hand as we appreciate him in jesus name hallelujah hallelujah
And last but not the least, I want to appreciate every person that has been supporting this ministry in terms of money, in terms of work, in terms of uh, deals, in terms of making sure that this place is ready for service, for Tuesday meetings, for everything. All those things, may God do you good. Every person that has given his coin towards supporting this ministry, may the grace of God replicate in your life such that your generations will never know lack in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mwe kama tito akwapi. Mwe kama babu wa tito ambaye alisav mungu katika jina la yesu. Na watoto wa watoto wa watoto wake wote watapukua patekas wa baraka katika jina la yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So at this juncture I request that we, we give our offerings. But before that I would love us to give our, uh, receive the envelopes. We give our thanksgiving. Uh, uh, if you're ready, if you're ready, please receive an envelope for thanksgiving. If you are ready, just receive an envelope to acknowledge it as a person who is saying, Ninajenga ili jiwe leo hapa kusema ya kwamba, Umbali huu ni mefika, wewe ni ebeneza. Umbali huu ni mefika, wewe ni ebeneza. Unaweka jiwe, unasema huu ni ukumbusho ya kwamba, Umbali huu ambao ni mefika, buwana ni ebeneza. Katika jina lesa. Umbali tumetuka Na mahali tumefika Niyo mana ninatambua Kwamba wewe ni emeneza Sio kwa uwezo wangu Ila ni kwa uwezo wako Mahali nimefika baba Wacha ni kushuku Ibona Ebona umeni saidia Kufika mali ni mefika Bwana wewe ni ebeneza Maisha ni mwangu Inataka ebeneza Ijengwe juu yako Inataka ebeneza Singi wangu Jiwe langu Lapimeni Na kuita jisana Everybody that is giving Towards Thanksgiving Come and stand here Come and stand before the presence of God With your gift Umbali tumetoka Na mahali tumefika
word has been spoken, he who gives a thanks offering prepares a way for the Lord to show him salvation. This is an act of the heart, you know, because it expresses your heart towards God. And therefore, I want to receive that thanksgiving on this altar in the presence of God and let the blessings that come along that sacrifice and offering come upon your life and upon your money and upon your generations in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Father, I bless this thanksgiving. We receive it by faith. We pray also that God, you graciously receive it. Let it be a sweet aroma in the throne and let it reign in these people for the glory of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Please, you can place it in the basket. Thank you, sir. I want us to give our offerings and, uh, and tithes. Those of us who are tithing, please come forward. Those of us who are tithing, please come forward. Those of us who are tithing, please come forward. Those of us who are tithing, please come forward. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to receive these tithes before you today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because you stand by your word that God cannot be mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, shall he reap. And I pray in the name of Jesus that this sowers. The Bible says, and God is able to make all grace abound so that having sufficiency of all things, we may abound in every good work. I pray that this source will abound in every good work and that the grace of God will be sufficient all around in the name of Jesus and that I will have more than enough, Lord, always for the glory of God. I pray for the blessings of tithing in Jesus' name. You've said, Lord, that you will rebuke the devourer. I pray in the name of Jesus, rebuke the devourers in their lives. May they never lose money in the name of Jesus. May they never know the doors of luck in the name of Jesus. I pray that you graciously, Lord, support them, equip them, empower them, even to their generations for the glory of God. In Jesus' precious name, we pray and we give thanks. Amen. You can put your tithes in the basket. Thank you. Let's give our offerings. Uh, the till number is already on the screen. Let's give our offerings. Offerings. Uh, the till number is already on the screen. <laughs> 